Hello everyone and Happy New Year. It's 2024 and time for a new series where we create a design system in Figma called FDS, which means Figma design system or free design system. You get the idea. In this episode, we'll look at how to structure the system and the libraries you'll need. On the left, there's a team project called FDS, which is where you'll create and publish the system for consumption by your product teams. In this project, there are four libraries, two foundation libraries for design tokens and iconography, and two component libraries for web and app platforms. If we jump into the design tokens library, we can see in the layers panel what this library will contain. Border radius and border weight variables, primitive and semantic color variables, layout grids, spacing variables, and typography for web, iOS, and Android. The cover tells you what type of library it is, what it contains, its version number, and who will be contributing to it. It's also been set up with properties that allow you to update its content from the design panel on the right. Keeping the icons in a separate library keeps the design tokens one clean and uncluttered and allows you and your team to work on these types of assets in one place. It'll contain icons that are between 16 to 48 pixels in size, pictograms that are between 64 to 96 pixels, and even larger 2D and 3D illustrations. This is where we'll create our base web components like buttons, input fields, alerts, and more complex ones like headers and modals. And no surprises here, this library will include app versions of the web components, along with more app-centric ones like navbar, tabbar, and bottom sheets. As the web and app component libraries get bigger, you may want to create new libraries for page templates and product-specific components. As for documentation and where that should live, we'll cover that in a future episode. I was going to make the starter libraries available from the Figma community, but considering they'll be getting updated as more episodes come out, I've shared them from my Google Drive instead. This way you can follow along from the same starting point as we make our way through the series. If you'd like to get your hands on a Figma design system that's ready to go, then take a look at my system called Scale. It already has variables, native dark mode, and components that you can use right now in your web and app projects. You can grab the four starter libraries and check out Scale in the links below. And that's it for structuring your design system in Figma. In the next episode, we'll create primitive color variables. I hope you're looking after yourselves and each other. Have a great year, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.